Hey there, what's up everybody? Back for another match for you. As you can see, I'm still sticking with the same save, um, at least for the time being. We're taking on Wyoming here at home. Sticking with the same save, not because I've uh, suddenly fallen back in love with it by any means, but rather because I'm not really finding much else that's out there. As I've said before, it's kind of slim pick pickings in the moment in terms of uh, FM23 uh, uh, editor uh, content that's out there. Um, and uh, we can talk about that maybe a little bit later. Um, here we are taking on Wyoming again. This is another match that we should be able to win pretty easily. And uh, we'll uh, kick off here and we'll see what happens from here on out. Gallagher with the ball now. And um, I'm looking and uh, hoping that we don't have too much stuttering in terms of the video, which is something that we've had happen before with this computer. Always a frustration, always a concern. Um, and it uh, looks like we do have the ball back here. Williams throws into Benitez, back to Williams. Williams takes his four, looks for Gallagher, and finds him. It's up with uh, Chris. Chris Gallagher passes his four, finds Bowden. Evan, Evan Bowden knocks a four, looking for Aldana, who somehow got through his man Buchanan like he wasn't there, and then shot that one directly through the goalkeeper, Lockley. I don't understand what happened there. I mean, we scored, which is good, but, I mean, can you tell me what happened here? It looked like um, Aldana gets through this guy almost like he's invisible. He did. Did you see that? He got through him as if Buchanan wasn't there. He just walked straight through him. So, uh, yeah, apparently Cesar, uh, Cesar Aldana has the ability to walk through people. Um, and we have a one nothing lead. No foul on the play, right? Because um, I guess that wasn't a foul. You're allowed to walk through people. I don't get it. Whatever. Um, Williams now passes for looking for Grant Martin. Grant's not there. He can't walk through people. That's the problem. And it's with Wyoming again. Gallagher that wins this midfield over to Martin, over to Bowden. Bowden knocks this forward to Daly, and Daly will knock this one up looking for Bowden, and there's a pass to uh, Cesar Meza. And uh, both of the Cesars are scoring all the goals now. It's 2 nothing BYU 10 minutes in. This is what I told you was going to happen. I mean, I knew that we were going to come in here and we were just going to dominate, and that's exactly what's been happening so far. We're very, very good at home. Um, Daly with a good pass to Bowden and Bowden just crosses it forward and there's three guys he has to choose from and the defense doesn't know what to do. That's the way that it is. Mates are coming back there from, I believe, a, uh, a defensive midfielder position to score that goal if I remember our team right and uh, we are up 2 nothing here in the early going. It's with Ashton. He lumps this one forward over to Williams. They find, or to our Williams rather, Matt Williams gets back onto it over Benit to uh, Benitez, back to Williams. Back with Chris Gallagher. He looks up and he finds Cook over to Mates again, over to Bowden, now to Daly, back to Bowden. Bowden knocks this one back to Cook. Cook over to Daly. Daly lumps this one forward for Aldana. This will be his second. Yep. 3 nothing BYU. Aldana scores his second goal. He's onside, and uh, that's exactly what happens. That's what's going to happen today. And um, maybe you can tell that, um, you know, you're looking at this thinking, all right, we just come over here and we win and win and win. The creator of this editor data file created a new version with the wage structure fixed a little bit, which is pretty nice. But the problem that I have with the editor data file, again, is the fact that you still can't do transfers, which means that you're just kind of playing the same games over and over and over again. 3 nothing BYU with the lead, and um, let's see what we can do. We're really good at beating these uh, Mountain West teams that are no good, but um, whenever we play against a team above our level, we end up having struggles, and we have lost those games. Daly with it uh, over to Silvis. Silvis passes this up looking for Bowden and goes back to Cook. Cook over to Chris Gallagher. Chris Gallagher now knocks his forward for Mates. Mates over to Aldana, and this uh, almost was a hat trick by him. It wasn't much of a header, but the way the Lockley saved that one made it look like he had a lot of uh, English on it. Um, it really wasn't much at all. And, uh, yeah, Football Manager, in terms of his animation, still has some uh, progress to be made. Um, looking forward for FM24. I've said this before. I mean, it's much improved FM23 over past games. Wow, big goal there from Grant Martin from range. Good heavens. I wasn't expecting that. It's 4 nothing BYU. I don't know what these boys ate in their Wheaties this morning, but man, oh, man, good heavens. I mean, he just knocked the lights out with this. Look at this. So we pass this forward from the uh, top, and I'm expecting Martin maybe to try to pass this into Aldana, who uh, has the speed to beat his man. And no, he just takes that shot from far range and is 4 nothing BYU. And uh, boy, I tell you, if we start playing like this, no one's going to stop us. I was going to say the uh, animations are improved if you compare it to FM, even FM 22. But we still have some problems. We still have players walking through players. We still have, you know, the ball going directly through goaltenders and stuff like that. If you're on the winning side of things, it's not so bad. But um, if you're looking at this from an objective point of view or as a, uh, as a neutral, as they would say, or something like that, you're saying, what just happened there? That didn't make any sense at all. BYU with a 4-0 lead. 
and we're going to just go straight into halftime. This, by the way, is supposed to be the game that we're too tired to play because um, our guys haven't rested much. So uh, apparently we're so tired that we scored full, four goals in the first 20 minutes. Uh, the ball that time goes through Bowden. He actually got a foot onto it, but wasn't able to corral it quite right. You wonder why I don't think Evan Bowden's really a team leader. Now you know why. This is uh, back with Wyoming as they lump it forward, and that's the thing that drives me nuts about the computer manager. This is where um, Dave INC ID's work helps because it helps teach the computer manager that it doesn't just have to lump the ball forward like that. I'm surprised Aldana didn't score there. Silva's now with it over to mid, so back to Cook. And uh, we will just set it up again uh, patiently. And uh, really, either Martin or Aldana should have scored this. This pass goes from Benitez into Martin, who has plenty of space. And unfortunately, he just can't quite get onto it um, in time. And then Aldana, for some reason, couldn't corral that one. That looked like that was an easy ball for him to control. And he just didn't have the control that he needed to have. And uh, we're going to go to halftime. Looks like we got to make a couple changes. And But uh, first, of course, we have to watch another highlight in which we get the ball and, and uh, try to score and perhaps do score. Here it is with Daly. Daly will lump this forward, I think. And uh, that's not really that much. It's over to Grant Martin. Ends up being out for a corner, but I don't think we have time for the corner. I think that we're going to have the whistle for halftime first. But let's see what happens. I don't know. And no, we do have time for the corner, and that's Lockley grabbing it. And now we'll have the whistle for halftime, and there it is. And so we've come out of this with a 4 nothing win. We have blown them away. And uh, we say whatever the assistant manager wants us to say. Daly's got to come out. He is very, very tired. We're going to put Amutenya on for him. And uh, nobody else, I think, needs to worry about it. So we'll go into the second half. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing to be too worried about. It's just business as usual for us. And uh, we'll see who gets the hat trick today. Amutenya now with it over, passes it back to Cook. Cook, and uh, that's the end of that highlight. Cook over to Gallagher now um, as we start a different highlight about five seconds later. It's over to Bowden, who keeps that inbounds. Bowden now passes back to Amatenia, back to Bowden, back to Amatenia. Amatenia over to Cook. Cook with it now, looks forward, and he finds Benitez, who is onside. He is onside. And uh, they're telling me to take Gallagher out. We'll go ahead and do that. I listen to assistant every now and then. Amatenia knocks this one forward, looking for Cook. Can't find him. It's over with Gallagher. Gallagher, yeah, looks like he's really, really slowed down here. He lumps this one forward, looking for a cross. Can't quite find it. It's back to Matt Williams. Matt Williams with it now forces the uh, opposition player to miss the tackle over to Benitez, and he's looking forward for Bowden backwards a little bit, I should say, and uh, Bowden can't quite get onto it. And this is, I think, the first attack um, Wyoming's had in this game. Silvis is fouled there, and uh, he almost uh, got himself uh, sent off, honestly. Um, no, whatever. That is the end of the highlight, which means that he was not sent off in the end, which is a good thing. And many of our players appear positively chuffed, and um, I'm certain that uh, we all feel chuffed, except for Jimenez, who came in. He can't really um, meet pace. It's because we're not playing him often enough, and that's because I've been kind of going through the motions so far in this save, in case you haven't been able to notice. Um, Amitenia knocks this one forward, finds Martin, and oh man, that is back with Wyoming. And uh, this might be a 4-1 game here in a second, but instead they slow it down, allow our defense time to recover. And we have recovered nicely, and Korn is able to run over and grab that, and uh, he holds on to the ball. That is the end of that highlight. We have about uh, 30 minutes or so to go in this match, maybe a little bit less. 20 minutes, I should say, now, and uh, we maintain our 4 nothing advantage. I was thinking maybe today's the day we get into the 5-6-7 category, but uh, maybe not. Williams knocks this forward, looking for Aldana, can't find him, and is Bowden with that shot from range that was on pace to go in and it forced a good save from Lockley. And uh, that's a little bit surprising. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Bowden winds up, steps back, and knocks it over to Cook, and Cook's header is just off the mark. And uh, we've been having a hard time getting those headers in, but it's all right. We keep Matt Williams out there. We'll keep Darren Silvis out, out there. Let's let these guys play. Let these guys run around a little bit. I am perfectly happy with that. No one's upset with me right now about playing time. If they get upset, we just sell them. And, uh, well, we can't really buy anyone else. We hope that we have good youth coming in. And uh, here is Wyoming with the shot, and that is up and over everybody's head. We have about 10 more minutes left in this match. And... Uh, it's going to take us a second here. Here's Maximov with the uh, free kick for Wyoming. And uh, it goes out just about as far as mid. So he's able to uh, get a block on that one. And uh, that's the end of that highlight. I was going to say we're watching a highlight of nothing happening. Bowden knocks this uh, free kick forward. And there's going to be a foul on Wyoming. And they're going to let Aldana here have the penalty. And uh, this is a really ridiculous call to make at this stage of the game. I mean, this doesn't really matter. The penalty has been awarded. Aldon is going to take it, and he's going to score. And uh, Paul roche Petitjean um, gets the yellow card. Aldana scores his hat trick. 5 nothing BYU, and that's really the end of this one. No, number 40 for Aldana on the season. 
and uh, you think this tactic works pretty well, huh? We're going to skip that highlight because uh, my parents are coming home here, or my parents, my wife is coming home here in a second with the uh, kids. If I were still living with my parents, I would be a little bit more embarrassed than I am. And uh, this ball is there with uh, Wyoming, and it's Williams who gets ahead on top of that one. Over to Watts, and then Silvis is able to take this off of him. Doesn't matter. That's the final whistle. BYU has won this one 5 nothing. We've dominated everything. They had zero shots on target. There's the end. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.